First this half hour, fighting fentanyl in the Miami Valley. Tonight we continue our two news investigation. In 2017, Montgomery County was ground zero for the U.S. opioid epidemic with 566 overdose deaths. In the past five years, we have seen a lot of progress with overall numbers cut nearly in half. However, as law enforcement and public health told me, it's a different story in the Miami Valley's black communities. That's black ice all the way down. Here, Smiley was on the slippery slope of addiction. First picking up, uh, it was about 12. Smoked a little pot with some, some of my friends and, and things of that nature. Then the sudden death of his dad, leaving him to deal with death for the first time at just 13 years old. Just burying that, burying that with, with uh, humor, burying it with, um, with marijuana and with whatever substances I could find. And unequipped emotionally. I started experimenting with things, cocaine, ecstasy, MDMA, whatever was, was hot at the time. Here's story is personal, but not unique in Dayton's black community, which makes up 9% of the Montgomery County population, but 20% of overdose deaths this year, according to Public Health Dayton and Montgomery County. If you are a black male that is brought up in inner city, you are constantly experiencing traumas. We've never seen this many African Americans die from overdoses as we have so far this year. Eight of our last nine overdose deaths involved African-American people. It's a trend that's been on the rise since the beginning of the pandemic. According to the CDC, in 2020, overdose death rates increased 44% for black people nationwide compared to 2019. The increase for white people was half of that. The jump, an even more startling 86% spike for black Americans 15 to 24 years old the largest increase of any age group or race in that time frame. We bring our men up to say, don't have feelings, you can't cry, don't ask for help, you're the rock. Because you show any weakness on the streets, you're a target. Predators are all over you. Public health is taking a proactive approach to try and solve the problem, putting on community events in predominantly black neighborhoods and handing out harm reduction tools. They have fentanyl test strips. Project Dawn can give you both Narcan and fentanyl test strips. Atomus can give you both Narcan and fentanyl test strips. Soon, the Community Overdose Action Team, known as COAT, will open its front door project, where police officers can bring someone who has overdosed or is in need of medical attention instead of locking them up in jail. You know, the resources are there. Yeah, Dayton is, has been a safe haven for me um, in recovery. We want you to get treatment and get, get off drugs. That's my, my, my top priority. It happened here. It's, it's still happening here. It's not necessarily getting better. It's getting worse on, on one side, but the recovery scene is growing too. I reached out to Kier this morning and I asked him if he is winning. He said, life is a blessing I haven't lost yet. So that's a yes. Tomorrow in our Fighting Fentanyl series, we have a story of victory. We'll share the inspirational journey of someone who by all rights, should not be alive, but now it's his mission to help others beat addiction as well.